As part of activities to mark this year's International Women's Day, some women in Edo State have asked for an urgent review of the gender-related bills. These bills were recently rejected by the National Assembly. They describe such a move as a dehumanization of Nigerian women and vow to continue to push until their demand is met. Some people believe women didn't do enough in pushing for the actualization of the 35 affirmative action. 2019 presidential and national assembly elections to the Senate and House of, House of Representatives, out of the nine, nine around 12 million eligible voters, the turnout was over 67 percent, which was the highest turnout ever recorded with higher, higher participation of women than men. We, women are number one. Now women are born governor, are born president, are born, are born Oba. So they're not supposed to they, uh, reject women. You understand me? Women are number one from all, anywhere, any nation. Now women. So you know, women they use they use and they press us down. If you even look at the House, the National Assembly, you will discover that there's no equality. The House is majorly filled up with men, and I believe that most of these men don't even believe in the women. Actually, I must uh, say that um, the Nigerian women are not ready for political office in this country. I believe as we mark this International Women's Day, this should be a clear, clear call for all Nigerian women to sit up. Just imagine when all this blame, accusation and counter accusation against the National Assembly that the women were being marginalized, that they were being discriminated, that they are being relegated. To me, it's uncalled for. The day that they are supposed to mobilize themselves to the National Assembly, for them to ensure that the, 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 this 35% uh, percent, uh, affirmative uh, action, uh, rights action, uh, declaration for women is being approved, that day the whole wives of the president, of the governors, that the sisters of Nigeria, and some critical women uh, stakeholders, they took a chartered flight to Dubai. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.